Hello everyone. The purpose of this video tutorial is modeling of full molecule disorder in cyclopentacryotene moiety. For this purpose, I am using the popular program Polyx2 version 1.3, which is written and maintained by Domolo et al. And this program can be downloaded from this link. You have to register yourself and then download the program. For the structure solution and refinement purpose, the program selects T and select cell are utilized. And these programs are written and maintained by the George Michael Seldry, University of Continuum, Germany. And the necessary files, that is, .ins, instruction and reflection file are provided by the Professor Sim Parkin from the University of Kentucky. So let's start the refinement. But before that, let's look at the expected structure of the molecule. The expected structure is this one. It is a very small molecule. It has a dimethyl thiophene moiety and other five membering is fused in the thiophene moiety and the molecular formula is C9H10S. The molecule is small and we are expecting a very straightforward refinement for this molecule. So let's start the refinement. So let's first of all open the program OLX2, then go to file, open. There is folder or directory named test WMD on the desktop. There are two files, the INS file, instruction file, and the XL file, reflection file. Click on the INS file and open it. Then now go to work, go to solve tab and there is a small inverted arrow, press the arrow. There are a number of refinement program. I am not going to explain right now all this program. I am just selecting the select P. The method is default method. The file chosen is cyclopentothiophene.scale. The composition is c 9 s 10 s one This is the expected composition. The value of Z, the formula unit present per unit cell is 4 and the number of molecules present per S metric unit are 1, Z dash equal to 1. The molecule crystallizes in monoclinic centrosymmetric space group P21 by C. Now go to Sol and press this button Sol or alternatively you can type Sol. As well as Sol here and just press enter. It is, it is solving. And you are getting a first structure. So you can zoom in or zoom out according to your convenience. I think now it is better, easy to visualize. Now let's compare the molecule with the expected structure first. This is the expected structure. This is sulfur, and there is also a sulfur, but there are some extra atoms are appearing in this molecule. This bone length is around 2 angstrom. This is around 1.7 angstrom. This carbon sulfur distance is 1.3, very small. And this distance is 2 approximately 2 angstrom. And this, so this sulfur is appears better at its position than this one. So let's suppose this is the sulfur. And this is the carbon. This is one of the methyl. The second methyl group is hard to utilize, and this carbon atom appears to be extra. Let's compare these two molecules. So, if we delete this, this, and this, then we can easily visualize this structure because these are the extra atoms which are not present, which are not expected to present in the original structure, expected structure. So, first delete this one. We Three atoms. Select this one, one, two, three, and then right click and then delete. This bond appears to be extra bond, then delete it. And this sulfur is should be carbon to so make it carbon. Now compare the molecule with the perspective structure. So these are now same. Okay. So first 
be fine. Go to fine. Press this arrow. There are programs, different programs. So choose the selector and this cap cycle. Let's choose 10 cycles. <coughs> Since it is a small molecule, so 15 peaks are, 2 peaks are enough. Select Hecta to generate the C file in the directory and now press Define. Okay, what is happening? The bond is now not existing, the earlier bond is not existing, and this carbon we okay. The thermal of this carbon is very very small, 0.00117. And there is a new two pixels appearing here. So let's first delete this one. Okay, and make this carbon. So now it is more reasonable. Let's refine it. So again the same problem is arising. The thermal again becomes too small. It is 0 0.0024. And a new two peaks is appearing here. With height of approximately four and a half electrons. So it may be carbon. So select this, make it carbon, and delete this one. Uh, at this stage, the refinement is not going to help us. So don't refine right now. Let's visualize the electron density map of the molecule. Just press Ctrl M. Okay. So there is a large electron density about this carbon atom. There is electron density here, unassigned electron density here, some on this is per atom. There is also some unassigned electron density, and here also some electron density appears. So we have to assign these electron density. Okay, then press Ctrl M. If you carefully examine the electron density map, then you will find that this carbon atom, that is C007, in part is appearing at the position of 2. Okay, this carbon atom C008, in part appearing at the 2 peak 2 5. Okay, this carbon atom C009, in part is appearing at this 2 peak. 3.23 and this carbon C005 in part is appearing on this carbon that is 29. So we can say that the whole molecule is dissolved. Okay. Here some electron density is appearing, large electron density is there. So it, we are expecting sulfur atom here. Somewhere here. Somewhere mm, on C2. So this sulfur is coming here. This carbon is coming here, this carbon is coming here, so the disordered part is actually inverted upon the original structure. Then what we have to do? Just press Ctrl Q first and second. Then two bits will disappear. And if you examine carefully all the molecules, all the atoms, then they are appearing to be large. And but this carbon is reasonable. It should be reasonable. So this is not disordered. All the atoms are disordered. Just double click and then deselect this one, select all the molecule and this one. But before that, let's do a reasonable naming. For that, go to naming and let's start from one. There is no need of suffix, type carbon and name. This is for C1, C2, C3, C4. 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Then press escape. Of okay, this sulfur also. So now type S sulfur name and this is S. S. And now sort these atoms by pressing the sort and we are getting C1, C2, C3, and C2. We can edit the dot ins file just by typing edit. And we are getting the highest file C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6, C7, C8, C9. Okay. Okay. Let's model the disorder. How to model the disorder? Just click on the molecule, double click. If you select all the molecules, then 
dyslexic because it is not this it, it is not seems to be disordered then press control q it will to this will appear now you can do two things first you can press the script same button or you can type mode fit minus s same what it will do let's see and then press enter it will become yellow okay now move your cursor on any one of the atom left click and rotate you will see the cursor like this and what you have to do this atom which is it should cover this two bits and this atom should cover this two bits and this atom should cover this two bits rotate like this yes, yes. now this seems to be good okay now press escape so now press escape okay and now press the button refine the R factory is around 35 before modeling the disorder. Now we have modeled the disorder and now refine it. Now the molecules seem to be very good. All the thermal are reasonable and the R factory is dropped from 35 to 9.7. The shift is also stabilized. Let's refine one more time. Yes, it is stabilized. And we are getting the two components, two disordered components. Now the maximum electron density is only 0 0.7. Now let's look at the INS5, type edit and press enter. So there are a number of stains are there, sorry, C1, C2, C1, A, C2, A. So there is no need to type the stand manually, it will write all the stand automatically in the Minus five. Okay. So next step is just refine the molecule anisotropically. For this, you can type, you can press this button directly, or you can press Control R, or you can go here, Model, and it's all. It will refine the atom anisotropically. Okay. The R factor is further drop to seven point one three. Let's refine one more time. So the molecules is appearing quite reasonable. So these two thermal are seem to be merging with each other. Select the atoms and type EADP equal atomic displacement parameter. Enter and refine. Now they are appearing somewhat in shape. Okay. The next step is adding hydrogen. For that purpose you can automatically add hydrogen by pressing add hydrogen or you can do it manually let's do it manually go to tools hydrogen atoms let's first go to sp3 sp3 with one carbon sp3 with two carbon methylene sp3 with three carbon that is methyl so first do the methylene sp3 methylene it is methylene it is methylene okay then go to methyl this one is methyl this one is methyl this one is methyl and other one this one is also methyl. okay then we are left with only aromatic cross hydrogen go to sp2 and here fx for three this one this one this one and this one. now press escape and press control r And the R factor is further low to 3.79. Now all the hydrogen are assigned. Go to work. Then refine. Now you can apply the weighing scheme. Click this way and then refine. The shift is now stabilizing. 
define some two, two more times defining and define the green scheme are now become green define one more time one more time now the shape become green the shape is zero all are green so the final architecture is now 3.67 if you look at the graph all the points are in the straight line so the refinement is quite good if you press here then you can see that the molecule after 0.776 is not reflecting there is a noise after this cutoff so we can cut off the data after this resolution 0.776 for that edit and type some command here cell Uh, 999 means infinity to 0 0.76 save and define and one more time now everything is settled down everything is green fine now let's look let's look at the electron density map that's why control m and now you can see there is hardly electron density left there is red um, some electron density there so nothing is almost nothing is left so let's give a final refinement Now the whole is are settled. There are two parts. Okay, just press 0 1, you will see the part 1 and 0 2, part 2 for all, you will see the full noise. Okay, now the structure is solved finally. Thanks for watching the video.